My name is Bernadette Brennan and I'm living in this lovely area of Maraville and Donlo. I've been living here since 1980. I originally came over from England and I was teaching in Strabane for a while and then I was lucky enough to get a job in Donlo and we built this house, myself and my husband, and we've been living here for 42 years, would you believe? I have four of a family, three girls and a boy, and uh, it's the most beautiful area to live in and to bring up a family. I like to always start my day with a cup of tea, looking out at the beautiful view, and I'm having this now before I go up to half past ten mass and being across St. Patrick's Church. Uh, and I'm reading this month, so I have to be there early and prepared as well. reading book now and I'm off to Mass in St Patrick's Church. Spirituality is very important to me, um, as you know, because I'm very involved in the choir and the readings and in the past I was a lay minister and we have a beautiful carol service every uh, Christmas. This year we had it outside because we weren't able to have people inside the church, but we get the children involved and we look at the story of the nativity and we sing all the traditional carols and for everyone it's a beautiful time of year to come together. That's last now today. There, there's quite a crowd, good crowd there today, which was nice to see because after the pandemic it's hard to know how many feel comfortable coming out, but it was nice to see everybody again and say hello. It's hard to leave the fire, isn't it? But it's good, such a lovely day today, it's time to go for my walk to the pier, which I do enjoy. Lovely scenery. Runners on, jacket on, ready to hit the road. I like doing the walk to the pier every day along the Wild Atlantic Way. First of all, it gets you out into the fresh air and the lovely scenery and the sea is different colour and texture every day. And then you meet your neighbours and you can have a chat. And that's what life's all about really, isn't it? Really, this pandemic stage. <laughs> Thank you. 
enjoy a bit of lunch in the Butter Rock, which just opened last Tuesday again. So it's good to go in and support a local business and the food is good in there. So we hopefully will enjoy it. lunch now enjoyed that great and the company it was brilliant and my goodness now I'm all ready to go home for the evening and to relax get myself organized for tomorrow by Helen Pfeiffer. It's an unusual book in, again, it's a mystery thriller where a little girl goes missing and uh, two detectives are called in to investigate and I suppose it analyzes very quickly um, the family of the little girl who's missing and also the people who live on her immediate street. And uh, I like it because it kind of, it doesn't rush to a conclusion. It takes you through all the characters who live on the street and uh, it leaves you guessing as to which one may have the appearance of being a very good thoughtful neighbour and the people who you think maybe are not and yet we can't always judge life by appearances it's sort of an appearance reality thing so it's a good thriller and it keeps you guessing until the end now i'm going to make my final cup of bonbon as i call it hot chocolate before I head off to bed after a wonderful day looking at the elements and being out in the elements and having lunch and lovely company and this is what I have now before I go to bed. So we enjoyed the day today, um, it's been a great day and the weather's been good and favourable and I suppose it's the first day when all the restrictions have been lifted so I'm here with my cup of cocoa waiting to go to bed now to have a good night's rest hopefully. I hope you enjoyed following me for the day, I hope it was interesting enough and good health and happiness to everyone. <laughs>